Okay, you guys, a total solar eclipse. Stop the bus, back it up. It's hard to stop the bus when the sun and the moon are in Aries and they are having a total eclipse. Okay, so what does a total eclipse mean? It's a marker. It's a time to stop. I can tell you because I actually pay attention to what I did in the last eclipse that was occurring. This eclipse is saying to us, we have to step up and stand out. It's a double airy sky. And here's the coolest thing today. Mercury and Uranus are conjunct. They're standing together. This happens once a year. So we've got an eclipse with two planets in Aries, Sun and Moon, and Jupiter is absolutely sandwiched in the middle of that. There's going to be a total eclipse at 28 degrees, the 29, the very last degree, which in astrology, the late degree is the more sophisticated. So this is a real opportunity. If you've been paying attention through this whole window of Aries, and I've been talking about pulling up your energy, starting to move, exercising, being straight, being direct, being the initiator, this is the day to make an eclipse statement that says, I'm no longer going to give my power away. So let's talk about the power of double Aries uninhibited personality who stands up and says, I'll do it. I got this. They cannot be idle. I'm thinking about this woman I recently met who's a double Aries who told me everything about her life story in a drive about two hours worth because her Aries energy, and it was so compelling. And her grandfather committed suicide and her father was this famous musician. And I got the whole download because double Aries has no inhibition to just spill the beans. If you're someone who is inhibited, or you shut down, or you, you contract rather than stand up. During this eclipse, during Tuesday and Wednesday, make a marker and say, I'm making a decision to stand up and stand out, even if I'm uncomfortable. Now, here's the thing about Mercury conjunct Uranus, only once a year in Taurus. It means that Mercury is your thought process. Uranus is the futurist, or it's the genius influence. It rules Aquarius, so it's way out of the box. They just know things. There's intuitions. There's psychic ability. There's people that do science where they get the answer and then they work backwards to explain it because they just know they're being sourced. Now, if you're a double Aries, you would know that you can't hold back. You say things, you jump in, you give your energy to whoever you're with. You fall in love easily. Venus is in Gemini, so it's not a surprise. But if you've got the withhold, and lots of you are listening to this, you hold back. You tend to be self-conscious. You tend to be withdrawn. That's the quality that withdraws or diminishes chi. When there's an eclipse on Tuesday and Wednesday, you can call for with the prayer. That's what new moons are for. You go inside, it's a double Aries, and you say, give me back my personal power. I don't know what the leak is. I don't know what I left behind, but I'd love to reclaim my juju. Now, if you can't do it, because somewhere you've gotten squished or you've gotten habitual, that's what an eclipse is for, to break a habit. I'm going to stop drinking coffee. I'm going to stop eating sugar. I'm going to reduce my alcohol intake. That's what an eclipse is for during a double airy sky. You get to make a decision, a marker in the sand, April 18th and 19th, 2023, you change. I'd love to hear what you're going to use as the marker. And notice Tuesday and Wednesday that your energy, while it's internal, because it's dark and it's a time to go in, it's a definite decision-making time where you feel your chi. I am here as a moon and Aries personality type to tell you that the difference between me and you is I'm uninhibited. That's why I come on these and I do my little thing because I'm free enough to feel safe to be who I am. I want to give you the same gift. That's what astrology is for. So if a baby were born on an eclipse with a new moon, they would have the potential of feeling very self-confident with Mercury conjunct Uranus and just saying their truth because they got downloaded and they weren't feeling self-conscious or concerned about approval or do you like me or who will I offend? There's no double Aries who's wondering if they should be self-conscious about who they offend. I'm going to give you that. Let this be contagious. Tuesday and Wednesday, April 18th and 19th. Turn up your volume.